today's transformation truth is growth. Now, I can tell you that in my life, it's one of the things that I look forward to in everything that I do. There's a challenge right now, though, and that is that most of us are living in a world of complacency, that we've just gotten used to doing things a certain way, and we don't like a lot of change. But you know, change is actually part of life, and no growth can take place unless there's change. So right now, if you're finding yourself in a place in which you're in a relationship that you are not willing to stretch to the next level and you're just comfortable where you are, I want you to rethink about that. Or if you're in your job and you're thinking that, okay, I make enough money to just pay my bills, why do we do that? Why do we have to think like that? Because you know, the natural tendency of human beings is to actually grow. And I want you to stretch yourself. I want you to get out of that comfort zone. And I want you to say to yourself, I am destined to grow. I am destined to be something greater than I am right now. And when you do that, you know, you're going to find a tremendous transformation in your life. You know, I used to have a mentor of mine that always saw more in me than I would see myself. Maybe you don't have that person in front of you, but I want to be that person for you. I want to remind you right now that whatever your dreams are, whatever you think about, you're capable of doing it. Even if other people around you are telling you that will never happen. I'm going to tell you a story of my own mentor that was Dr. James W. Parker. He was the president of my university and someone that actually took me under his wing and taught me a lot about personal development. I remember as a student that he would tell me, you're going to be president of this university one day. And I would say, oh, maybe when I'm 60. Now, I was a very young man. I was in my early 20s when he would tell me that. And then one day came. He passed away, and then the board of trustees called me at 32 years old and say, would you be our next president? Now, I wasn't ready to handle it, so I told the board that I wasn't ready to do it, that they needed to find somebody with more skill sets. Well, after a long search of interviews, they called me back a few months later, and they said, we want to interview you to find out which one of these individuals is going to be the best one for Parker University. They talked me into doing an interview of two hours. And after that interview, they said, there's only one person that can do the job, and that's you. I want you to know that I hesitated in accepting the position because I didn't think I was capable of doing it. But then I kept thinking of my mentor saying, Fab, if you can think of it, you can do it. So I said yes. And it became after 13 and a half years of being president of Parker and having all this amazing success, I realized that I was destined for the position all along. I just didn't understand it at the time. So I want to make sure you understand that you have the capabilities of doing anything you can dream of. You have the capabilities of being something far greater than where you are right now. So there's three things that I want to share with you that allow me to be able to live in the world of growth to be able to stretch myself beyond my comfort zone. The first one is you need to commit to your personal growth. Every single day I want you to live by saying, I'm committed to my growth. And the only way you can commit to your growth is by stretching yourself from what you're doing right now. Like my mentor used to say, wearing a jacket that is a little bigger size than what you actually wear. Or perhaps pants that are a little bigger size than you actually wear. Just something to understand you're gonna have growth in your life. And that growth is actually something that's going to be what you're destined to be. The second thing I want you to consider is I want you to focus on the journey, not the destination. See, what happens in growth is the fact that we all want to reach a certain place. And once we reach that place, we get complacent. We don't want to move from there because it's comfortable. Listen, life was not meant to be comfortable because you're not growing when you're comfortable. The only time that you grow is when you get uncomfortable. And that's where you really enjoy the journey. But if you focus on the journey and not the destination, you're going to enjoy uh, that growth a lot more. And the last thing is to live in the possibilities. You know, one of my friends and good uh, mentor is Mark Victor Hansen. And he has a thing that he says, create an audacious goal. Create the biggest goal that you can think of. Anytime I would call him and say, hey, Mark, I'm thinking about doing this, he would always stretch me and say, what can you do more than that? You can so make sure that you right now live in the world of possibilities, not the world of probabilities, but the world of possibilities. So remember, three things that I want you to do today. The first one is I want you to commit every single day to your personal growth. I want you to read books. I want you to listen to tapes all on personal development. Commit on your growth. Read the biographies of great people. That's something that I've done for many, many years and has never failed me. 
The second one is focus on the journey, not on the destination. That means that right now, no matter where you are in your life, understand that that's not where you're going to be for a long time. And then last one, live in the possibilities. Create audacious goals for yourself. Stretch yourself beyond your comfort zone because that's where growth really happens. And if you do these three things, now you're really living the transformation truth, growth.